So remember how you pronounce the name of this place in your again. Yeah. Chichen Itza. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. At the end of every 52 years, they have to cover up. So we have to understand the small pyramid is the foundation of the second pyramid. So for yeah. them, it was a kind of the renewal of the pyramid because of the, 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 uh, it represented a certain the, period. Uh, the the the, uh, the calendars start again. Mm -hmm. 91 steps by four sides, 364 plus one on top, 365. Mm -hmm. This is 18 months multiplied with 20 days, mm -hmm. 360, plus and they use it mm -hmm. a short month with only five days. Mm -hmm. This, these last days, it was the most important. It was the days when they kill more people to please to the gods, <coughs> to asking for another period of 52. I understood that every year they did a kind of cleaning and they re replaced in... Uh, That's why, right, uh, right, right on top of the pyramid, it was a sacred mountain. When they went to the top, mm -hmm. they had communication with the gods. And that communication was the, for, for the farmers. Mm -hmm. And they had to cultivate the land. Look that serpent. That serpent has two different names. From Mexico City, the name of that feather serpent is Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Mm -hmm. When they came to Yucatan, they took a Maya name. And they have to call Cuculcan. But please, you have to write with C, not with K. With K is a new fashion to write, but no meaning. Cuculcan is feather, camp serpent. To cool feather, cancer. See? It's there. Over the Maya serpent without feathers. That representing domination over the Maya. Nationality of Kukulkam. As mom, as bird, and a serpent. From the mouth of the serpent, a face come out. See? I have something like this here. See? The bird is the eagle, the mouth of the serpent is the rattlesnake and the human being. The serpent transmits to the human being the knowledge. It's the same over there. The snake transmits the mouth to the human. See? Because it was a, a great mythology introducing by the Toltec people, the Pau. What is the snake itself in the Maya? The Maya, the well, the... Like this, because it's very important to them. Yes. Is the, the rattlesnake. <laughs> Only the rattlesnake, but that is the rattlesnake with the feather serpent. The body is covered with feathers. See? But why is it the, the serpent which is so... Because that, as I told you before, that is a great mythology introduced by the Tolte people. Before the Maya people worshipped that serpent. That's why they never practiced the human sacrifice. The Maya people practice only self-sacrifice. They never died. They never gave their own life. Mm. It was in different period, in different time, when the Toltec people changed the life of the Mayas. The Mayas became more aggressive than the Toltec. If you see his legs, no, uh, no skin, no flesh. No king of flesh. No, no, no skin, skin or flesh. No flesh. Yes. Why is that? Because they represent the death symbol. When they play the game, at the end of the game, the winner go to the heaven, because he believed it to be in a special place at the heaven. Mm -hmm. So he's flying, essentially. He believed it to reincarnate. Reincarnation. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. That is the loser. The loser has a knife. The loser has the head of the winner. The, the winner is kneeling, his head is missing from his neck, seven serpents come out. One of the serpents represents the fertility of the lamb with fruit and a flower down. Seven players to the right, seven players to the left. See, when they get it, you know, uh, the uh, drug to give to the uh, person who are going to die. Yeah. See, they. Mm -hmm. They made a, a tea with the bark. 
process. From this tree you get a bark, you make in tea, you take it and you fly to another dimension. This was again like you told before for the people who were sacrificed. Mm -hmm. For sacrifice. To... Oh, also they use it, the steam bath, to be up to the observatory and to watch the stars. The, the, I, the, I mean the mind has to be clean when they watch the stars. The only round that is there, but it's told it's told is for, for one person. Walk down. But this also was uh, a steam It was a steam bath. The the canal is over there, the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Till today we don't know where the water comes from, probably from a well or from what was the thought behind the fact that they sacrificed them in the hole? In, well, in the canoe. What happened, you know, before they kill any person, be the practice the decapitation of the player, they took the heart out or to push it into the well. They drank hallucination drinking. Okay. They don't feel how they die. Ah, okay. See? For a long, for long time, you know, they believed it, it was obligation. You know, they choose the person. Uh, the person had before the formation of the head, cross eyes, and they feel it. See, I am going to show you in this moment. They choose, they select the brain and the bones. They want to know what kind of sickness they suffered before. Yeah. See, um, they practice the feeling. Okay. See, here. See, and no cavities. Because they didn't have sugar cane. The sugar cane yeah. was introduced by the Spaniards. Can I, can I make a question for you? Mm -hmm. What don't they have? A face? <laughs> oh, that's the face. What don't they have? I'm going to find the, the, my photo. Born, you know, with cross eyes. So it's a good sign then. See, after six, seven generations, see, they are born in with cross eyes. And is that because of these different deformation? I don't know exactly. This is the so this is the astronomer's tower. Uh huh. This is the place where they watch it. Uh -huh. They watch Beno, they watch a star, sun, moon, constellation, eclipse, everything here. And, and as I told you before, you know. Today they believe it. They watch with the cross eyes. <laughs> See? Look the tower. Look the door. Above the door, there is okay. a decoration. The decoration is a little off to the right. Yeah. See? The tower has an inclination to the south. Yeah. In saltest time. June 21st and December, mm -hmm. we have a chance to see this phenomenon early in the morning, 6.30 to 7.30. Okay. okay. See the window? The pyramid is the equinox, mm -hmm. March yeah. 21st and September. And here is June, June. and December. Oh, okay. With the uh, Venus star. Each time when the Venus star come out, it was a revolution against the Mayas and the people. People fighting all the time. Sometimes they said it was a good thing, or sometimes they said it was not a good thing. That depends on the people who write the history about the prediction of the people. See? Okay, I want to show you a, a ruler seated in Buddha, mm -hmm. Buddha position. Mm -hmm. See? Hands like that. Mm -hmm. See? Face deteriorated. Ask him, give him, ask him, give him. In Mexico, we have to, we have a special knowledge, power, ending. Ending? Ending. ending, why? Because here in Mexico, after 71 years old, when wife and men are living, you know, they don't want to have more sex. They want to be together at the end of the days. Yeah. Before, you know, they are strong. <laughs> <laughs>
And what does it does mean? Mayan lattice work representing du duality. duality symbol, life and death, female and male, and also honey. Honey comes when you open. Mm -hmm. Where do you honey put the honey? Duality. Life du and death. Life and death, female and male, is the duality symbol. I've been seeing so many of these, these crosses mm -hmm. in some many symbols, and I didn't know why is it coming back. Mm -hmm. Is the Mayan lattice work, and that decoration Duality. is coming from another archaeological site located 250 kilometers from here, Ushmal. And that's where we're going. Mm -hmm. Are you going to Ushmal? Hmm? But what's the, what was the purpose of the arch? Is that the arches? Well, uh, the arches, you know, uh, represent, you know, a uh, passageway between one side to another side. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes, as I showed you before, it was the entrance of the city. Mm -hmm. See? The arch had many purposes for the Mayas.